On Thursday, natural gas tumbled, giving back most of the gains it experienced on Wednesday. The move in the price of natural gas came despite a larger-than-expected draw in natural gas inventories. Today's EIA weekly storage report printed a draw of minus 180 billion cubic feet, slightly bullish to market expectations near minus 175 billion cubic feet, and a little larger than the five-year average draw of minus 155 billion cubic feet. This decreased supplies to 3,016 billion cubic feet and decreased surpluses to plus 72 billion cubic feet. Next week's report is expected to show another larger-than-normal draw and the largest so far this winter season. The prompt month on Wednesday had soared 60 cents, capping a multi-session bull parade that took futures to a 2022 high near $5. Modest production levels, robust demand for U.S. exports of LNG gas and expectations for an extended bout of frigid weather later this month combined to fuel the rally. However, production climbed about 2 billion cubic feet over the past couple days and reached 95 billion cubic feet on Thursday. We also had some speculative buying ahead of Thursday's storage report that probably made Wednesday's surge a bit overdone. The rising output and profit-taking Thursday ended the rally. When the EIA print essentially matched the midpoint of analysts' estimates, speculators likely sold off some of their positions, adding to profit-taking already underway. Looking ahead, analysts expected several more large withdrawals with coming EIA reports. The current forecasts point to at least three or four 200-plus draws in the next few weeks. The expected chill could necessitate elevated heating needs as well as more freeze-offs in gas-producing basins. The latest outlook suggests January heating degree days could be 6% above average. What is more, U.S. LNG feed gas volumes have this week hovered around 13 billion cubic feet. Between the LNG momentum and the cold we have coming, which could result in more freeze-offs and another hit to production. I think this market may continue to test higher over the next one or two weeks. Nevertheless, the intensity of cold can ease right around month end, though weather models at that point are not close to being back warm by any means.